Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Rubina's lecture. In this we will be studying about class 10th biological science chapter 1 nutrition food supply system. In this chapter we will be studying about the different types of nutrition in plants and animals. We will be studying about the photosynthesis and photosynthesis process and nutrition and full digestive system of plants and animals. We will be studying about the parts of the leaf and we will be studying about the photosynthesis mechanism in the plants. And we will be studying about the digestion process and different types of vitamins in the human body. Food is the basic necessity for all the living organism. Food consists of different nutrient and different energy giving products. Food is needed by all living organism for the growth and the repair of the organism. In this chapter we will be studying about the different mode of the acquiring the nutrient by the organism and the different mode of preparing the food of the plant. We will be studying about the preparation of food by the plant that is the photosynthesis. In this we will be having the different substances that take as a food from the single cell organism like amoeba to the complex multicellular organism like human body. Even within this human body, cells require a wide variety of the substance as a food. Food is a basic necessity for the living organism to survive. From the single cell to cell and organism to organism. Nutrition is divided into autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition. Here we will be discussing about the autotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition is nothing but auto means deriving the food from by itself trophic is a level so the plants are the autotrophic nutrition because they are capable of repairing the food with the help of the sunlight water and the gases from the air children they are capable of reducing the complex compound what are the complex compound here they are carbohydrate proteins and lipid from the very simple substances like sunlight water and the other gases these plants are also known as universal producers why they are known as universal producers children because they are they are capable of carrying out the process known as photosynthesis that is in this they use the sunlight water and the gases from the air to prepare this food here are a few of the scientists like von Helmon and other scientists believe that they think that the plants are getting the food material not only from the soil from the different other sources they are capable of producing the food or preparing the food from the soil not only but they are capable of using the other source from apart from the soil to prepare the food. Autotrophic plants, autotrophic plants which carry out the process by the pro known as photosynthesis. Photosynthesis in this photo means light, synthesis is synthesizing the food. Photosynthesis is a process by which plant containing the green color pigment. Children what is a green color pigment? It is a chlorophyll which is green in color or it may be in the different colors in different plants build a complex organic molecule from relatively simple inorganic molecules such as what are inorganic molecule here children sunlight water carbon dioxide are the inorganic molecule which are taken by the plant to carry out the process called as photosynthesis to build in the complex organic molecule in this process there are several steps in it Several intermediate compounds are formed. Scientists have been trying to formulate the simple equation for the photosynthesis over the past over 200 years. Some of the scientists is C.B. Van Neel. C.B. Van Neel carried out different process to find out what is a process of photosynthesis and he formulated the equation also. Photosynthesis is a process in which the simple inorganic compound is converted into organic compound. During this process, there is a release of a gas known as oxygen. In exam, they can ask you in one marks question, which gas is released? Oxygen gas is released. C.B. Van Neel is one of the scientists who carry out the research in his work photosynthesis. He formulated an equation in 1931 that for each molecule of carbohydrate formed, one molecule of water and one molecule of oxygen is produced. That is, the equation is CO2 plus two molecule of water gives CH2O that is our glucose water and oxygen is released plants are autotroph which are capable of producing the complex substances like protein starch cellulose and fat from the simple substance we have discussed in the previous slide that plants are capable of producing the complex substances from the simple inorganic substances 
and they are capable of reducing releasing the gas known as oxygen gases release by observing the carbon dioxide gas they are capable of producing the oxygen gas children here you have to remember that one molecule of water and one molecule of oxygen is produced during the process of photosynthesis according to cb van nil research in 1931 they can ask you in exam that what is the equation given by cb van nil how many molecule of water is there and how many molecule of oxygen is released during this process and what are the plants which are autotroph how are the plant who are autotroph what complex compound they are producing organic compound or inorganic compound you have to practice this equation and you have to know that what are the substances produced what are the organic substances and what are inorganic substances produced during the process of photosynthesis cb van nil was a first scientist before working on the plants he worked on a purple sulfur bacteria that the light plays a specific role in the photosynthesis instead of water which is released during the process of photosynthesis there is a release of hydrogen sulfide gas in the purple sulfur bacteria there is no oxygen is liberated during the process of photosynthesis in the purple sulfur bacteria he was the first scientist who has studied the photosynthesis process in the purple sulfur bacteria then he studied on the plant and told that there is a use by the two molecule of water carbon dioxide light and the chlorophyll which produces the glucose one molecule of water and oxygen is released during the process of photosynthesis children after cb van nil there was another scientist known as robot hill he showed that there is a release of oxygen gas from the water molecule and he modified the cb van nil equation and he told that there is a six molecule of carbon dioxide 12 molecule of water which releases the glucose that is c6 h12 o6 and six molecule of water and six molecule of oxygen is released during the process of photosynthesis now in on the slide you can see children that there is an equation you have to practice this equation very perfectly and whenever there is a question ask what is photosynthesis in four marks answers they will ask you have to draw the diagram which is given in the previous slide and you have to practice this equation that is six molecule of carbon dioxide 12 molecule of water in the presence of light and the chlorophyll give c6 h2lo6 that is our glucose and six molecule of water and six molecule of oxygen here van nil first work on the purple sulfur bacteria as i have discussed you now the next type of nutrition which we observe in the plants are heterotrophic organism depending on other organism for food heterotrophic heterotrophic hetero means different trophic is level here heterotrophic nutrition is again divided into holozoic nutrition saprophytic nutrition and a parasitic nutrition holozoic nutrition are the organism feed and by ingesting the solid organic matter which is then digested and absorbed inside the body only but saprophytic nutrition they feed on dead and decaying matter like our bacteria and the fungi parasites as you know children they are mosquitoes they depend upon the living organism and they extract the nutrition and they harm the organism and the parasite contain nutrient by leaving on their the body of the host like fleas leeches and tapeworm holozoic saprophytic and parasitic are the different types of heterotrophic nutrition here holozoic are human animal and insectivorous plants saprophytics are our bacteria and fungi parasites are mosquito fleas lice and tapeworm there is a common difference between a parasite and a saprophyte parasite they feed on the living organism and the saprophyte they feed on the dead and decay organism children here you have to remember that holozoic is that ingesting the solid food material and which is digested inside the body saprophyte dead and decaying matter parasite living organic organism they feed like fleas lice and tapeworm here activity 1 that is presence of starch in the leaf we have studied in the previous slide that the plant carry out the process known as photosynthesis in this process they produce a compound that is the in the reactant side they produce the reactant side they take the carbon dioxide water and they produce the glucose water and the oxygen is released and we are here testing an activity to present to test the presence of starch in the leaf hame ye pata karna hai ye activity mein ki starch kaise form hota hai leaf ke andar 
तो उसके लिए हमें चाहिए एक बीकर टेस्ट ट्यूब ट्राईपॉड स्टैंड और एक बर्नर और एक टेस्ट ट्यूब में हमें डालना है मिथलेटेड स्पिरिट वॉट वी हैव टू टेक वी हैव टू टेक अ सॉफ्ट एंड थिन लीव विच इज़ वेल एक्सपोज टू द लाइट सन लाइट में बहुत देर तक रखा हुआ है एक लीव लेना है और वो जो तीन रहना चाहिए हम उसके अंदर क्या करेंगे वो लीव को हम लोग टेस्ट ट्यूब में लेंगे यू कैन सी चिल्ड्रन इन द डाइग्राम टेस्ट ट्यूब के अंदर हम आपको मिथिलेटेड स्पिरिट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर चिल्ड्रन वॉट वी आर टेकिंग इन द इन द टेस्ट ट्यूब मिथिलेटेड स्पिरिट देन वी आर पुटिंग दिस टेस्ट ट्यूब इन अ वाटर बाथ दैट इज बीकर फिल्ड विथ वाटर एंड वी आर पुटिंग दैट टेस्ट ट्यूब इन इट putting the test tube in the beaker then heat the test tube along with the water bath after heating you can remove along with the or a tong or something plucker like you put out the take out the leaf from the test tube aap log kya kariye jo test tube ke andar jo leaf hai aap logon ne boil kiya hai wo thoda sa color thoda dull ho jayega to aap log kya karna wo test tube mein se with the help of tong you take out the leaf and put it in the petrish dish after putting in the petri tray you can put iodine solution see here here children you have to remember that after boiling the leaf for some time in the methylated spirit you are putting the betadine or iodine solution they will ask you in exam what is the solution which is used to identify the presence of starch that is betadine or iodine solution just mark it up now after putting the betadine or iodine solution on the leaf you can see that there is a change in the color of the leaf into blue black color now this change in the color of the leaf that is our result that indicate that there is a presence of starch in the leaf jab hum log dekhte hai jaise hi hum log iodine solution ya betadine solution leaf par dalte hai leaf ka color thoda sa blue black ho jayega blue black color you have to remember that which is the color indicating the presence of starch that is blue black color is indicating the presence of starch jaise hi blue black color hota hai hame pata chal jayega ki hamari activity correct hai aur because of that there is a presence of starch to get full marks you have to write a equation that is our photosynthesis equation to get full marks in this presentation we have discussed about the autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition we have discussed about the different type of heterotrophic nutrition like holozoic saprophytic and parasitic we have discussed about the photosynthesis with the diagram and some of the scientists like cd vanil and robert hill we have discussed about the activity which is the presence of starch in the leaf how is the activity carried out we have studied the equation two different types of equation which is given by the cb vanil now related to this topic we will be discussing some of the question which are asked in the previous year question that write the difference between the autotrophic and the heterotrophic autotrophic the plant that prepare their own food that is our photosynthesis heterotrophic you can write the different type if it is in four marks you have to write about the holozoic saprophytic and parasitic now the next question is why the photosynthesis is considered as a basic energy source for the most of the living organism we have discussed children that like plants are the universal producers they are only the organism which are capable of synthesizing the organic compound the simple organic compound into the complex inorganic compound and we have discussed how the plant after the complex compound is formed like carbohydrate how to demonstrate the e Uh, the presence of starch by using the methylated spirit and the beta ion solution that is one one marks question and we have discussed the equation given by the cb van neel what are the carbon dioxide plus water give glucose water and oxygen is released during the process of photosynthesis by this we have com completed uh, some of the topic which is given in the class 10th lesson number 1 nutrition food supply system we will be continuing some more topic in our next ppt presentation thank you children hit the thumbs up button share subscribe and click the bell icon to get my new videos on time